we're back. Yes, we're back. With some real combining action generation one style. We're gonna start out today with Stunticons. Yes. I've got a lot here to show you guys, so it will take a little while. So bear with me. Anyhow, we're going to start out not with the big guy. We're going to start out with one of the smaller ones. We are going to do drag strip first. Yes, drag strip. Here's a little drag strip in his futuristic car mode because, you know, Formula One cars don't really have six wheels. Just for those that don't know that. Anyway, it's a really, really cool little dragster. He's probably my favorite out of the lot. Um, it's not just because he's yellow. It's just because he's cool. But anyway, really, really simple transformation. It's Generation 1. How hard can it be? First thing I always do is I take this little engine piece, and I flip it up, and it folds into its driver's seat. Take his feet. Down. Flip this little flippy do up. Then you're going to pull this back for epic hill and reveal. And then we've got two arms that come out. And there we go. Drag strip. To get a good look at his head sculpt. Full of a focus. There's a little more focus. There we go. Now, moving on to, let's do Wild Rider. Good old Wild Rider here. He's a great little car. He's a Ferrari. I don't remember exactly what model Ferrari it is. I know it's about mid 80s. Pretty cool. It's an awesome little car. Simple transformation. Very simple. Pull his legs down. Then you're going to pull this little part here up. And you flip it back. Put that his two arms. There you go. Here's Wild Rider. He's fairly beat up. Come on, focus. Focus. Focus! <laughs> Apparently that worked. Anyway, there you go. A little wild, wild rider. Moving on to the Porsche. Dead end. Don't ask me why they chose these colors. I have yet to figure that one out. But, who cares? It's dead end. It's generation 1. Simple transformation on this guy. Pull his legs down. Split them apart. Ah, it's a little floppy. Push his legs back up. And you'll take his hood. Kind of push it back. And his hands forward. And there you go. And there's dead end. Focus. There we go. Break down. Break down. No, just kidding. Anyway, really, really, really cool little Lamborghini Countach. This is my favorite car. Always has been. Somehow I can't really get into the other Lamborghinis. They're really neat, but I really like this style. I think it was just because this thing was so industrial looking. But anyway, on our note, same transformation as the dead end. Flip this hood back. Arms forward. There you go. And there's dead end. Last, but definitely, 
not least, good old Motor Master. Oh yes, Kenworth semi truck at its finest. Kind of always wondered what it would be like to have him and Optimus Prime meet up if they were both at the same scale. Think about that one. Anyhow, this guy's got a fairly uh, intricate transformation because he's got several modes. This guy's technically a triple changer. Oh, triple changer. Triple changer action. Yeah. Anyway. First thing I always do, I flip this thing up slightly. Move these things back. These two portions here. You guys have probably seen this transformation 15 billion different times. Oh my god, got another Minnesota review. Get over it. They're not going away anytime soon. Put this truck up. Split his legs apart. Move his arms up. There you go. To get a good look at his head sculpt. There you go. He's not bad. Not bad at all. But, there you go. Motor Master. In his glory. I'm going to do a little movie magic. I'll be back with these guys ready for limb mode. This guy I'll show on camera real easy. And we're back. We're going to take Motor Master here and turn him into a base first. I'm going to show you on a different camera what his base mode looks like and show you a couple gimmicks with that. Anyhow, to turn this guy into base mode. Trying to make sure I'm in the frame here. It's really, really easy. Just move all this stuff here back. One thing I always do with base mode is I just split his legs apart like this. This is from robot mode, by the way, guys. These down. Turn it like this. Flip this piece here back up. These two parts here can fold down all the way. Move this out. This part here you can leave out on the back or here. I tend to leave it backwards because I just think of that as like a repair bay or something back there. That's pretty much his base mode. He does have gimmicks in this mode. You can easily take like his laser cannon. I tend to like to do. And you can peg it in the holes on the side. Or, if you just want to get really ridiculous, you can take his fists and plug them into those holes as well. I tend to just kind of play around because this guy's got a lot of extra accessories. Sometimes I'll just set these up front just to kind of give the base a little more girth. And as for the fists, eh, you can do this, make it look more like a base, aim his cannon out a little bit. You can take this crotch piece part here if you want and set it across top. It's pretty much whatever you want to do, I mean, and the headpiece, I really don't know what else to do with. There is like a convenient way of storing it back here. You can actually kind of store it inside here somehow. I forget which direction it goes. But somehow it can kind of clip in here just a little bit. There we go. And then we can just kind of set this on top, I guess, if you want. Technically, you need to push these in more, but I'm not going to go through that hassle just to show you guys some silliness. Anyway, another thing this guy's got is catapult. Push this little ramp thing here back. 
There's a button on the back side of him that looks like it's part of the trailer hitch, but it's not really. And you take his nice little convenient car here and you put it on here. And you usually have to kind of put some pressure on the front of the base because it tries to flip backward. And there it goes. Shoots off pretty good too. Really, really strong spring. But that's it for his base mode. I'll let you guys take a good look at it with the robot and everything on here. So that way you guys can see what's going on here. And then you take the other stunt guns, you can put them around it if you want. go and look at the base mode hello I'm back we're going to take and put him into his combined form and take his big clunky base mode I just did and I'll fold it all back up it's real simple. Pull this thing right here back up. Put these parts is back in. They just all peg right back together. Sometimes it's a pain to get everything lined up. Then take his chest piece, put it back. Just like you're gonna actually turn him into motor master mode, but not really. Now the thing here is you got double joints here going to want to space these out. Just like that. As for his truck cab, folds back. So it's back there. Then what we're gonna do crotch piece. Applying the crotchage of Minosaur. It plugs right in like that. Then, what you could do is take this, it's got two little holes in it, plugs onto these two pegs. And plugs in just like that. Oh, yeah, one thing I forgot to show you. Um, in between here, you can see this nice little silver thing. This little cylinder I'm kind of pushing on. That is what launches a catapult. It also will plug in the Trypticon. Sadly, I don't have a Trypticon yet. Because I'm on one list. Anyway. Setting him aside. Take dead end. And we're going to flip this part here back, revealing his head. He's got a hole right there in the back. See a hole? Take this foot piece. Just let you run in, just like that. I'll get half a leg. Breakdown. Same thing. Hole in the back. Flip his hood back. I tend to kind of leave him up a little bit because we I use these for the um, legs mainly. You can use them as arms. That's the great thing about Scramble City. Woo! By the way, for those who are purchasing the new Bruticus, it is Scramble City. Check it out. It actually, you can mix and match, and you think about it, if you get all four different versions, you can make anything you want. How about four of them made with the same limbs? Think about that one. Anyway. Let me just put that back on. There you go. Wild Rider. This guy 
Keep his head back a little bit. And then take his head, push forward. Like he just broke his neck. Always put that back. Then I will take a hand. If it's got a gun with it. Plug it into the hole on the back. See the hole? Push into the hole. Into the hole. Drag strap. Last but definitely not least. I'm going to just take his hood thing here, push it this way. I do that just to get it out. Same thing. Fist. Hole. Pegage. Now what we're going to do those square holes you see here and here and here and here yes we are going to start with feet first dead end legs into hole break down legs into other hole and drag strip into hole. Wild Rider hole peg R. Last but not least. it right over the head a motor master yeah it's like a face mask take a look at that ugly um, ugly ugly mug it's face only a mother with love anyway there's Minnesota and all his glory it's pretty good size cool thing is he does have articulation in his arms this tends to move a little bit, but not real bad, because you got the car in a way to keep it from moving too much. Move his arm kind of out if you want, or in. Same with the other one. Does the same thing. It's got the same rotation. 360 degree articulation. Hell, that means who the hell's gonna run around with their arm going backwards? Ah, I'm gonna shoot people behind me. Really? Why? Why? Well, I guess it's there you can do it. Yeah. Another cool thing is the way I put these these two on. You can actually do this with any of the combinations, but gives him a knee joint. Two knee joints. They could be sitting on the ground praying for God to help him. I mean... Straighten back up here real quick. Take like two seconds. Snap, crackle, pop. There's Menasaur in all his glory. <laughs> A little weak in the knees, are we? He's getting old. For God's sake, man. <laughs> Control yourself. 
Please, for God's sake, stop falling. Good. Anyway, I'm gonna do a size comparison. Bring out R.I.D. Burdickus. Measures up pretty good, I think. We'll be doing a uh, Bruticus review probably next. But I'll probably do the other power cores. So that way I can finish up the Huffer review. Sorry, I can't stand doing power core back to back. It gives me the heebie jeebies. You know, you know that gives you the, the heebie jeebies. And what you do is just have to scratch all the time because it just gets under your skin. Exactly. Anyway, this has been Plasticon. These have been Generation 1 Kibble. This is me, signing off. Bye for now. <laughs>